What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm testing out some beauty supply store makeup from Ruby Kisses. I went to my local beauty supply store and I was looking at the products. I picked out some products and then I was sent some products from Ruby Kisses as well. So this entire face I did it using only products from the beauty supply store, specifically from Ruby Kisses. And I don't think I've ever actually tried like makeup products from Ruby Kisses. This is the first time. So we're really gonna put all of these products to the test. If you would like to see how I got this look, and if you would like to see me test out some products from Ruby Kisses, then just keep on watching. Okay, first and foremost, before I even get into it, the lighting in this video is gonna be a little in and out because it's very gloomy outside. And it just rained this morning so the clouds are out but jumping right in i'm gonna start off with my eyes for this look and i'm using the ruby kisses pure mineral concealer high definition smart blend when i first picked this one up i thought it was going to be like a squeeze out kind of packaging but it actually comes with an applicator which is nice so i'm going to use this to prime my eyelids And then to set that in place, I'm going to use the Ruby Kisses Eye Contour. This palette is called Miss Eve. And I'm taking the lightest shade to set the concealer. Now that we have our eyeshadow base, we're going to start applying our eyeshadow. So instead of using an eyeshadow, I'm actually using one of the Ruby Kisses Mineral Powders. And I'm going to use this as kind of like a crease color. See, it's like a brownish warm tone color. So I'm going to dip my blending brush in there. Just tap off some of the excess. It's going to look a little off because I don't have any other makeup on. But it's going to all come together once we finish everything off. So from there, I'm going to take a deeper color to build it up and I'm using the color ebony in that same mineral powder and these are face powders but I'm using them as eyeshadows so you can see it's like a deep chocolate brown so this is going to be the next color to really intensify the outer edges and I'm going to go back in with the first oh I have like We'll wipe that off later. See, I look crazy. But I'm going to go in with a blending brush and just blend those two colors together. And then from here, I'm going to use another one of the Ruby Kisses Eye Contour Eyeshadow Palettes. But this one has kind of more like playful colors. It has purple. It has this brownish with gold. It has brown and orange. So I'm going to use that purplish one and apply that all over the lid. And I'll be applying it with my fingers. And right away you can see just how pigmented this eyeshadow is. That's why I like applying it with my finger because I feel like I get a little bit more pigment out of it that way. And I just tap it in. And then just blending, 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 blending. Okay, so from there we can move on to the face. I'm going to do the eyelashes at the end. So for my face, I'm going to prime with the Ruby Kisses Never Touch Up Face Primer. And this is the Goodbye Pores. So this one is supposed to help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and pores. And it's also oil free, which is nice because I do have oily skin. And the consistency from this one, from what I'm seeing, it's very similar to the like Benefit Pore Professional, it's not a silicone primer. It has like, it's very smooth and it actually is filling in all of those pores and smoothing out my my skin. That's kind of hard to tell on camera because you have to, it's more like you have to see it in person, but it is really smoothing out those areas. But it's also, I feel like it's kind of mattifying as well, even though it's not a mattifying primer. Okay, so for foundation, I'm excited to try this one because I swatched it in store and it seemed like it was pretty thick, so hopefully that means it's going to have nice coverage. This is the Ruby Kisses No More Blemish Liquid Foundation and it's oil-free, all-day wear, semi-matte finish with 0.5% salicylic acid. And I got mine in the shade Rich Beige, which I feel like is a little deep, but this was the lightest shade that they had in that store. And I'll be applying it with my Real Techniques sponge, so... Well, the color is actually not bad at all.
yeah so it does as you can see it has nice coverage for sure and the finish it does feel nice it feels like a demi matte finish as it says yeah it's a little it's a little bit warm a little warmer than my my um skin tone but that's fine it can be fixed with concealer yeah the foundation is really nice it does have kind of like a scent to it it has like a kind of like a paint smell but the coverage is nice okay so from there i'm gonna go ahead and conceal using the same concealer that i use to prime my eyes so i'm just gonna run that underneath here this is mainly gonna conceal not necessarily highlight because it's very similar to my skin tone it's about a shade lighter yeah i feel like this concealer i'm gonna be using it pretty often because i like the coverage i like the coverage and i like the finish you can see it's not too matte it's a little bit dewy and i like dewy concealers so to set my under eyes and to set the rest of my face as well i'm trying out this ruby kisses hd set and forget setting powder and this is like a translucent powder it's a little bit like it's really white and it's very matte as well super matte I'm just gonna blend it in because i don't want to let it sit there i'm scared it's gonna make my under eyes crease because it feels really really matte if you have very dry under eyes i would definitely suggest putting an eye cream and prepping your under eyes before using this powder they also had this one in banana and i think they had another color as well so now that we're done setting the entire face i'm gonna do my brows and then we're gonna bronze and everything else but for brows i'm using the kiss top brow fine precision brow pencil and this is in the color brunette I also swatched this one in store and it seems like it's going to be a really nice eyebrow pencil. The consistency was nice. So this one has a spoolie on one side and it has the pencil on the other, similar to some of the other eyebrow pencils that are on the market. So I'm going to brush my brows first with a spoolie and then just slightly filling in my brows. I like the color so far and it does seem like it's filling them in pretty nicely. And to shape and clean up my brows, I'm using the same concealer that I used for my under eyes and as my eyeshadow base. So now to finish off the rest of my face, I'm gonna bronze using the same mineral powder the color honey brown which is the one i use for my transition shade now that we've bronzed our skin you can see that the look is like slowly coming together and to finish off basically finish off the rest of my face i'm gonna use the ruby kisses all over glow this is actually a bronzing powder but as you can see it is pretty light for it being a bronzer on me so I'm gonna use this as an illuminator before finishing off the lips I'm gonna apply my lashes and finish off the lower lash line so I'm gonna do lower lash line first taking the deeper color which was ebony and I'm just gonna run this all along my lower lash line And I'll also be using Honey Brown to diffuse that a little bit. And the Kiss lashes I'll be using are some of my favorites. These are in the style 11. I've used these a ton in my past videos. So these are the ones I'll be using today as well. And then to blend my natural lashes with my falsies, I'm using the Ruby Kisses Bold and Long Mascara. Ooh, the wand on this one looks nice. It's like kind of rounded, so I feel like it's really gonna curl, even though I already have false lashes on. And then to add a little bit of color to the inner corner of my eyes, I'm taking the Miss Bond Girl Palette, which is the palette I took the purple color from. And I'm going to use the lightest color. This one is a little bit shimmery. And I don't have a, another brush on hand, so I'm just going to use the little applicator that it comes with. Mm -hmm. 
And then we are just going to finish off with a lip color. And the lip color I'm using is the Kiss New York Professional Luxury Intense Lip Liner. This is like a nude-ish brown. I'm going to do the lip liner and then I'm going to top it off with something else to make it a little bit more brown so it can complement the eyes. Okay, one last time. I'm taking the mineral powder in Honey Brown and I'm gonna dip my finger in there and tap that, yes, the powder on my lips. So those are all the Ruby Kisses products that I used to achieve the look and as you can see, you can definitely achieve a brown, dark, smoky, dramatic look using products from the beauty supply store so i hope you guys enjoyed this video all the products that i used will be listed down below in the description box so make sure to check it out if you haven't checked out my last video go ahead and click right here if you're interested and you can head over straight to that video and if you have not subscribed to my channel already make sure to subscribe right here and i will talk to you all in my next video